it's Helen from Los Angeles English School and today we're going with you to talk about the reported speech. Um, you should know that we have up-to-date reporting and out-of-date reporting. What does it mean up-to-date reporting? Up-to-date reporting means that uh, the facts that you, want, that you would like to report are still true. It means that they haven't changed at all. For example, we know that New York uh, was big one year ago and New York City is big now and when we want to report the fact about New York that somebody said we can say that um, uh, the anchorman said that New York is big we don't need to say New York was big because we know that New York is still big and this fact is still true and um, this is called up-to-date reporting. So the facts which are still true, we need to report them uh, in the tense that we heard from somebody. But when uh, these facts uh, changed uh, with the time, we need uh, to report these words in the past. So uh, for out-of-date reporting, we need to transform the tense into the past. And it's a very good chance for us also to refresh tenses today. Okay, so let's have a look at the board. Um, when we, for example, have the present simple tense, for example, there is an accident on the road, he said. So there is an accident on the road, he said. So there is an accident on the road, it was at the time when the speaker was talking about it. And now, of course, there is no accident. We need to transform present simple into the past simple. So, uh, how to report somebody's words? He said that, um, so that you can use, but also you can omit that. So, I have written this word in brackets, because we just can say he said without that. He said there was an accident on the road. So there is, we need to change into there was an accident. So present simple should be changed into the past simple. The next example, I'm looking for the exit, she answered. I am looking for the exit. So here we have the present continuous tense and the present continuous tense in the reported speech, if we have the out-of-date reporting, we need to change into the past continuous tense. So she answered that, or uh, without that, she answered she was looking for the exit. So she answered she was looking for the exit. Present continuous, you need to change into the past continuous. The next sentence, the hostess saw us off, they explained. The hostess saw us off, they explain, the hostess saw us off. Here we have the past simple tense. If we have the past simple tense, what can we do? We have here two choices. You can leave past simple as it here we have it. And you can say, they explained, the hostess saw them off. It's one answer. So the hostess saw them off. Or you also can say, the hostess had seen them off. Had seen them off. So if you deal with the past simple and you would like to report somebody's words, you can have two choices. You can say with the past simple, don't change anything and leave it. Or you can say this uh, sentence using the past perfect. So they explained the hostess saw them off or they explained the hostess had seen them off. And let's move on to the next sentence. Here we have past continuous tense. I was waiting for you outside, she reminded them. Uh, when we have the past continuous, again we have two answers. You can leave the past continuous and you can say she reminded them that she she was waiting for them outside or you can use past perfect continuous she had been waiting 
So she reminded them that she was waiting for them outside or she had been waiting for them outside. So past continues, you can leave and say she was waiting or you can transform it into the past perfect continuous she had been waiting. Okay, so now let's go to the next part. We have a look at some more uh, tenses. Uh, I will take care of the patient the doctor promised. And when we want to report the doctor's words, uh, we need to transform will into would. And we would say the doctor promised he would take care. So he would take care of uh, the patient. Uh, the next uh, we will look at some uh, modal verbs. He assumed they may come over. May into the reported speech, if we talk about out-of-date reporting, we need to change may into might. He assumed that they might come over. The next, uh, if we have uh, the can verb, uh, for example, she said, I can assist you. Here you have uh, two uh, verbs that you can use. She said that she could assist me. So she could, she could assist me or she would be able to assist me. So if we talk with you about can and we're going with you to talk about future, we have two uh, choices. She said that she could assist me or she said that she would be able to assist me. And what I would like to explain also it is must. Uh, the doctor told me you must stay at the hospital. Uh, if we talk about must in the meaning of obligation, if a doctor uh, obliged me to stay in bed, I can use also two verbs. I can say the doctor told me that I must stay at the hospital. So without any changes, the doctor told me that I must stay at the hospital. Or you can say the doctor told me that I had to had to stay at the hospital. So that's it for now. It was the uh, video on reported speech. Of course, it's not the complete information. It's just some part of it. And in my next videos, I'm going uh, to talk more about the reported speech and I will explain some more cases. And I recommend you to visit our website losangelesenglishschool.com and you can download very helpful exercises to uh, give you more information on the reported speech and I'll see you in the next video and thanks so much for watching our channel. Have a great day. Bye!